Aloha. Effective November 1st through December 31st, 2012, each licensed individual, company, and branch will have the opportunity to request for renewal through NMLS. MLOCs, make sure you submit your outstanding MCRs. You will not be able to request renewal without fulfilling this requirement. MLOs and control persons, if you have not done so already, you need to provide an updated credit report through NMLS. In addition, MLOs must also provide an updated FBI criminal background check and complete the continuing education requirement prior to requesting renewal. DFI will guarantee that all renewal requests received by December 7, 2012 will be processed by December 31, 2012. Unless notified, licensees who applied by December 7 will be able to continue business as usual. If the renewal request is not received by December 7, 2012, and the renewal has not been processed by December 31st, the licensee's license status will change to approved inactive on January 1st, 2013. Mortgage loan origination activity cannot be conducted with an approved inactive license status. If you do not renew by December 31st, 2012, your license status will automatically change to terminated, failed to renew, and mortgage loan origination activity must cease. You will be given an opportunity to reinstate your license during the reinstatement period. Please be advised that if you pay for your renewal by electronic check, this will cause a funds pending deficiency and will not clear the system for up to 10 business days. DFI cannot renew any license that has a funds pending deficiency. This means on January 1st, 2013, if the deficiency has not cleared, your license status will change to approved inactive and you will not be able to conduct any mortgage loan origination activity. Stay tuned for future video on reinstating an expired license. Thank you.